Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all the honors, the praises to the Lord. It belongs to Yahweh. My Sham Yahweh Shai, my Hasham Mahava Kakwadash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And who I reverence. Honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few. I mean, the very, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because you know we're living in the last days of the last days okay and this lesson is going to be kind of delving into the program and how familiar spirits are used against us man and the thing about these spirits they're used to try and hinder block monitor right growth right we're just gonna flow with the spirit right now go to Deuteronomy jump straight to 18 mm -hmm. and jump straight to verse 10 there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that useth divination, key thing, pass through the fire. Or that useth divination. So it talks about passing through the fire. So this was a custom of the Ammonites and the Canaanites, which they would sacrifice children to Molech. Right? And it says, shall not do after these nations. And that use of divination. So what's divination? Well, a form of sorcery. A form of sorcery. That's what divination is. From the word python. Right? Or an observer of times. Those that observe times. Okay? Or an enchanter or a witch. Or a charmer. Had to tell a young lady of today, saying, why has she got charms for? Why have you got spell charms for? Right? Or a charmer. Okay. Or consult with familiar spirits. It's a key thing. We're not supposed to be getting involved in none of these grotesque practices. Because it's disgusting. It's weird. It's disgusting. Okay. We're not supposed to be doing that. Right? Disgusting. And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. Or trauma, or consulting with familiar spirits. Keith and consulting. So you don't consult with spirits of that are familiar. In other words, someone that asks you to get your palms read. And they tell you your so-called future. Which they can't tell you your future, that's a lie. It's limited. And they're getting their advice from demons, basically. Okay. And it says, check this out. Or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a consultant with familiar spirits. Or a wizard or a necromancer. So, key thing, we're talking about familiar spirits here. That's what we're talking about. Right? Those that have familiar spirits. Now, the reason why there's a lot of hindrances, a lot of blockades, a lot of stumbling blocks. Why? Familiar spirits can cause that. Remember, these are very, these are very aggressive. These are very aggressive. These are very aggressive spirits. Very aggressive, very, at times. And these, that this particular spirit seeks to turn you away from the path of God. It seeks to have you in familiar patterns, and cycles, and thought patterns that have to be broken immediately, immediately, right? That's what it tries to do, right? And can these spirits, can they be sent? Oh, yeah. They can be sent by people, mostly by witches, because witches have a familiar spirit, right? And I want to throw this out there. Now, say if you see someone, you're seeing a load of people that look like people of your past life. 
That means that's a, that's a spirit being summoned, bro, your way. You know how many times I've seen this? I've seen someone that looks like someone like, bro, several times. Someone that looks like a relative. He's like, hold on, is that my, is that my brother? He looks just like my brother. Bro, these spirits are being sent. These are, these are familiar spirits that are associated with your family. That's why it's called familiar. From your line, because they know your line. They've studied your line. And some of within that line could have done something wicked. And therefore they have... And sometimes it's not even that. They're just trying to keep a pattern. Because remember, the devil doesn't want you to be a generational breaker. So we have to break demonic patterns. How do you do that? By serving the Lord Jehovah Shai. That's how you do it. All right? These things are sent. And they're sent by witches that summon up spirits that deal with crystal balls and that know particular things with, about you. Okay? But you got to cast that down. we got to cast down strongholds, man. Right? So we're not supposed to be delving into that. Right? And yes, some, not all, some people die because of familiar spirits. They die. Not all, some. Because remember, they're, very, they're violent, by the way. They're violent. Is there a difference between a familiar spirit and a monitoring spirit? Yeah, a familiar spirit is more, it's more violent in nature. Why? Because it seeks to hold you back by any means necessary. Any means. And a familiar spirit is an evil spirit, by the way. Evil. Right? And they also have ties to entities. Corporate entities deal with familiar spirits. They deal with black magic. That's how they make their money. All right? Serious stuff here. Go to Ephesians. All right? That's how they make their money. All right? You're narcissists. Guess what they deal with? They deal with familiar spirits. That's why someone could say something without the need of technology, not all the time. They could say something concerning you. And you're like, how do they know that? Because they have a familiar spirit. That's how they know that. That's how they know it. Right? And it is linked in with technology as well. Right? Because a familiar spirit can also be used through technology. Remember, it bets on you having patterns. So it can predict things based on a pattern or a cycle within that line. Right? That's why patterns have to be broken. That's why you need to be obedient to your have a shy. Okay, I hope you're listening. I hope you're listening. Go to Ephesians 6. Right? And these things cause a lot of havoc. Oh yeah, these spirits, that's why you need to bind it, break it. These spirits cause havoc. If you let them, Ephesians 6 and 11, put on the whole armor. Of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil For we wrestle not against flesh and blood But against principalities, against powers And against rulers of darkness of this world And against spiritual wickedness in higher places Point blank period Spiritual wickedness In the form of familiar spirits man Right Remember these, these things are summoned Which is You know they can summon Things our way Right They can summon people that look like People of your past Bro, I've seen it, bro. They could summon a spirit that just looks like your mother. Right? They could summon a spirit that looks like your father. They done that yesterday. A witch done that yesterday, man. Right? Hey, the Lord Jehovah Shai sees you, man. Sees your wicked ass, man. It's witches that are doing this, man. Witches. And warlocks. Right? Because remember, they communicate with the spiritual realm. As well, that's why we have to bind that spirit. Break old cycles. You're not doing the same thing. Remember, you're saying you're a new man now. So now we're living in a new way of life. Alright? The new way. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Okay, sure. Go to Isaiah. Before we go to Isaiah, go to 8 as well. Corinthians, by the way, sure. Yeah, you have to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. 
these spirits, if they can, they'll take you out. If they can, remember, they're trying to stop every single type of growth. They're trying to stop that. All right? That's what they're trying to do. Okay? And they can work through people that are closest to you. That's why it's called familiar. If something's familiar to you, it, it, it recognises you. If it's familiar, that means it's close. So that means you may have to even break ties with people that are familiar with you. You have to break them ties. That's the only way this demonic R spirit survives. You break ties, man, with certain people. Right? Especially certain people that still have doors open and you're still connected to them. Right? This spirit, it seeks information, it spies, it monitors. That's what this spirit does as well. It monitors the progress of an individual. Right? Go to 2 Corinthians, Baba Kishar. Sure. Second Corinthians 10 and 5. Cast in hold and go to verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. <laughs> Unlike yours. Yeah. But mighty through the heavenly father to the pulling down of strongholds. So what are we doing? Putting down them strongholds. Hey, right, familiar spirits, bro, they are strongholds. Proper demonic strongholds. But it can be done. Oh, Yahweh Shai, please send fire. Dismantle, disrupt these familiar spirits that are working through people that are being sent my way to try and keep me in a pattern of wickedness or negativity. Buy no spirits, man. Instantly. Don't don't mess about with them. Right? The way they operate is to have you doing what they are doing. Okay. And it says casting down imaginations. And every high thing that exhorteth itself against the knowledge, right, of the Heavenly Father and bring into captivity every thought, okay, every thought, okay, to the obedience of Mashiach fulfilled. And another thing I want to let you know, guess what, you probably never knew this, you know familiar spirits, you know they're used in technology as well, oh yeah, technology, familiar spirits, they need... They need a portal, they need a body. They need a portal, they need a body to communicate with. Key thing to communicate, right? You don't communicate with them. Simple as that, right? You don't communicate, and that's why a lot of, guess what, for people with familiar spirits, they'll be sent our way. What? To gather intel, information. And even certain people that, be, another thing I want to say as well, even be careful of some of these people that subscribe to you, not all of them, some of these people that subscribe to you, because some of these people that subscribe to you, some of these people that leave comments, they're only there to get intel and information by a familiar demonic spirit that's using them. Not everybody has your best interests at heart. Things are very, very real, by the way, very real. Okay, very real. Right, cast down them strongholds, man. And them strongholds are what? Our thoughts. Familiar spirits, guess what they work upon? Your thoughts. Your thoughts, man. That's what they're after, your mind. That's what they want. Okay? They're after your mind. You've got to break that stuff. Break that stuff. Okay? Isaiah 8 and 19. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards, that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their power for the living to the dead? See, they got these people walking around like zombies, bruh. And a lot of these people that are walking around like zombies, guess what? They have familiar spirits upon them as well. Okay. And it says, Baba Kusha, check this out. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits. Why are they familiar? Because they're fam they try to get familiar with you. That's why you don't get too friendly with people, bro. You getting too friendly with people. Hmm? Familiar spirits, man. To gather intel to the enemy. To the devil. So they can try to destroy you. And unto wizards that people mutter. Should not a people seek unto their power from the living to the dead. So what's supposed to seek unto our power? 
from the living unto the dead. And our power is a living power. He's not a dead power. All right. So just be very, very, very cautious of these spirits that you're letting. A familiar spirit can't take hold of you unless you give it an open door. It can't. And most of these people do have familiar spirits. Why? Because they worship the devil. Right? And if you see these messages, oh, God told me, I got a message from God. God didn't tell you. Satan told you that. Be very careful who you're opening up to, who you're telling certain things. Okay? Because a familiar spirit, their whole thing is to destroy your destiny, what the Lord has for you. But we don't, no one can do that. But that's their, that's their job. Okay? So low wind, I'm going to shut off here. Low wind, this was edifying. And until the next time. Oh, and another thing as well. Their whole thing is the program as well. All right? Because a familiar spirit member, it sets patterns. So even with, you call it MK Ultra, that's familiar spirits. You're talking about V2K, that's familiar spirits. They seek to keep you in a pattern where you don't grow, where you don't excel. Okay? But the only way they do that is by monitoring and information. Okay? So Lord willing, this was edifying. And until the next time, shalom.